morning guys welcome to today's video today is friday the last work day of the week last work day you guys brandon tonight we have lessons with brandon tonight are you actually excited Kaylee's sleeping over. The med flea medicine for the cat. The orange cat's already had his. Sam caught him. Why don't you just bring them all, for goodness sake? I love these buckets. These are my favorite buckets of life. I need to clean them again. I clean them a couple every couple months. There you go, Gracie girl. Here you go, Penny Pickle. Oh, look at how cute she is. Look, she's like, put that right down there. Daisy ran down to the barn and waited for me. And then I waited for you? I was super slow on the tractor. Because I didn't want to hit her. Because when I go around the turn, she's like right there running at me. I know, I love that. Molly does it too. When Dad and I drive down here, I look out the side window and there's Molly running beside us. He's just trying to Oh no, on the lawnmower, I, uh, I directly head into Molly's direction. Too fast though. <laughs> you are terrible. I, she's right here and I'm like, wee! I remember one thing I drink. What? Has it been long enough for her baby chicks to be born? Mm hmm. Okay, we should go check the chicken coop then. You think there's baby chicks in the chicken coop? There were two chickens and then there was a hatched, cracked, hatched egg and there was a mama laying on eggs, I think. And so, was yeah. it at this farm? Yeah. So I do feel the loss of our chickens. People be messaging me every day. Oh, this is the second time now that I dream that. Yeah, I think it just means that you'll be getting chickens one day. We'll be getting chickens again. Like, or you could have baby chicks. All right, we'll go check the chicken coop, you guys. We're gonna go check the chicken coop that has had no chickens in it this whole year because suddenly there may be but chickens. I also dreamed that there was drinking water. You also dreamed what? So maybe I'll go get some water. There was no water, so you needed to get some water? No, that they were drinking water. That they were. Has a rock in. You dreamed that they were drinking water? Get him, get him, get him. Get the rock. Run, babies, run! Get it, get him, get the rock. Get the rock. This is like a so I have a bunch of agility stuff in my car on Amazon. Do you guys want me to order it? Yes. Get, no? Get Did you say no? Like really cool stuff. Oh, no, I am ordering it. Rock. Yeah, go get it. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> so get in it. yesterday's video. Get it. Get it. <laughs> in yesterday's video, I mistakenly said that some breeds are smarter than the others. And apparently it's old fashioned to say that. I'm old, you guys. Don't you know I'm old? But I was reading through your comments and it made so much sense to me how people were saying like, how each breed is designed to do something specific. So in their own breed, they would be like smarter than other dogs to do that, if that makes sense. So like. Now Border Collie is smarter than So them. yeah, and then people were saying like, what I was trying to say is that you can be as smart as you want you can be as smart as you are, but unless you have drive, it, 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 it pushes it up a notch lower. Just shut up, just shut up, because you're never gonna win this one. But yeah, no, I appreciate what you guys were saying. That made so much sense to me. Like, she is a genius at guard dog duty. I know. And she Ruby is not. Let's go inside. And she's barking at them all night. And Ruby is not a guard dog kind of dog. And poodles are supposed to be like extremely intelligent. Yeah. And yet, all the poodles that we've had and all the doodles that we had have never seemed to have the same kind of level of intelligence as our collie dogs. Like we've had another one I told you guys before and her name was Chemo and she was, oh, Genius, but again, she had the drive, which made it seem like she was more genius, I guess. I don't know, I don't know how to be not old-fashioned. All I know is that having the right dog for your right situation is the most important thing, and I love that, and I think that's amazing. And I think we've been really good at choosing our dogs, because people were talking about their dogs and what they're good at, or what their strengths are, or what they're bred for, and I can see how some of them would not be right for us. Dog. You are good. I have two to choose from. Me. I want this one. Yeah. And you got the driven Barely one. Barely looks at it. This one. Here we go. Yeah. And we had to wait a month. So she was ready. We're just waiting for the horses to eat, and then we're gonna take them outside. 
do a little bit of chores here. I'm gonna try and clean up this paddock because we don't feed them in the paddock anymore. We only feed them in the grass and in their stalls, so that's super good. It means I can clean up all this mess out here and make it look better, and it is glorious out today. It is super chilly. It's twenty. It's gonna be 22 Mom's degrees, like, like you cold. Ain't my rock. Yeah. I threw it over the fence. She's like, you you threw the rock over the rock. fence? How mean. What did my dog have in my house? A stick. So Daisy is not a driven dog. Like she's, she's an okay, excitable dog. dog. But she's not driven. Like she's she's more passive. This dog is driven. Even yeah. among border collies, you can have such a variety. Some are more relaxed. Does Molly is not baby? relaxed. If she has something you don't want her to take, she won't let you take it. Okay, take it. Let me see you take it. She's confused. She's like, what's happening? They're all ganging up Molly, on me. Stick, Look at her go. Good girl, get it. Get it, Molly. Get it. No. Get the stick. Molly. Stick. Good girl. <laughs> Oh, now Ruby's in on it. Ruby's an old girl. She's six now. Wow, six years so old. Oh. Girl, get him on. Get him. Get him. Oh, girl, it's not fair to Did she get it? So Sophie dreamed that we got chickens. Two chickens. Oh, Two me. chickens, Sophie? Three. Three. But they were wild. Two of them. But they were wild. So listen to what my dream was. My dream was insane. Like it, it was insane. So last night I dreamed that we were at an orphanage. And I don't know why we were at an orphanage. And um, there were two little boys there and I wanted to adopt them. I was like, why are you here? Like, why, why are you here? Are you, like, the whole concept of them being in an orphanage and not loved was shocking to my soul. And I, I was like, I'm taking them, I'm taking them home. I'm going to love them, I'm going to care for them, I'm going to take care of them. Like, I'm gonna keep them. And somebody said that one boy was like a true orphan and I could adopt him. But the other boy was already, had, had a mom, had a parent, and I was like, well, he has a parent, but he's here. I'm still taking him. Like, I'm still loving him. And and then they said, oh yeah, his mom has cancer. And I was like, oh, phew, I can take him. Because it was so important in my dream for me to love these two boys. They didn't have any love. Like, it is so hard for me, were the concept. Babies? No, they were little boys. The thing you were talking about, were they like Jack Mark, about how when they get One of them was named Jack. Like, Jackson. Were they yeah, Jack's like... age? No, they were like four. Oh, they're, they're yeah, the bratty age. <laughs> but the point I think of my dream is that one struggle that I have is love. Like, I feel like I love too much. I love too hard. Like, you could do anything to me and say, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, and I could still love you. Or you could not say sorry, and I could still find love in my heart for you. Like, it's hard for me. It affects me so strongly to see people struggle and to see people in pain. And most importantly, it hurts my heart beyond anything to, to know somebody does not feel loved or cherished. And I want you guys all to know, like all you young guys or all you older guys, whoever you are, I want you to know that, I, that you do have value. Like somebody in your life is not cherishing you then it's a problem with them. It's not a problem with you, and it doesn't matter. Love does not stop because you do something bad. Love does not stop because you make mistakes. Love does not stop because you do something bad. Love is, does not stop when you need help the most. Like, love does not stop, you guys. Love is forever, and if somebody is not loving you the way you need to be loved, then you need to find the right people in your life. And it's unfortunate that not everybody gets love right from the get-go or the proper kind of love, but you are all loved, you guys. Like, there are people out there that will support you and love you, and good people. So, I think that was the point of my dream, is that 
I want everyone to know that you're loved. And I want to love everyone. I want to love you all. So if you need love, you just message me and I will love you. <laughs> Yeah, Gracie's got the zoomies today, you guys. Chores are done. Actually, I was gonna cut the grass down here, and I didn't get to it. Debbie's unloading the last of the of the dirt. Ponies be in the field. Willow's over there staring. This is what the new thing is, you guys. They stare into the other field with all the big grass. I think they're trying to tell me that they want the big grass now. All right, Sophie and I are gonna go check the chicken coop because she dreams, keeps dreaming that there's chickens in there. Imagine she did that. Oh, you guys. Imagine she did wake up one day and there were chickens. Before we go, take a look at this beauty. I planted more stuff yesterday. We got some cauliflower and broccoli and some watermelon and some more watermelon, I think. Or some cantaloupe. My tomatoes be looking fabulous. Oh, looks fabulous, you guys. Like this is this is how easy a garden is. Very soon, I'm gonna have one big tomato. Hi, Pen. Hi, Penny Pickle. You're going for water? I filled it up all fresh just for you. <laughs> all right. Look at this chicken coop. Oh, there's no snakes in there. It's growing overrun. We need some chickens to eat up all this green. Bring me the water bucket there, and the food bucket. Why do you want them? Because you might as well take them oh, in. It's okay. So the reason we didn't get chickens this year is because... Oh, let's get three chickens. You want to get three chickens? Yeah. You're going to take care of them? Okay. You're going to help. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys my lunch. I never eat breakfast, I only eat lunch. And this is it. I've got cheese, avocado, eggs on a wrap. And the most amazing part is this secret, whoops, is this secret sauce that I buy. This one's almost done and it's been me eating the whole thing. Doesn't that look good though? Like I made that, you guys. So this secret sauce is stuff that I buy from Walmart. Sam actually found the very first one at another store. Oh, I hope I have more. Oh, God, I do. So uh, basically, it's a uh, ranch secret sauce from Hidden Valley. Um, it, sometimes I order a sandwich kind of like this from Tim Hortons from our donut shop, and it has this fantastic sauce. It's a bit spicy. It has this fantastic sauce on it, and, I'm always, and it makes you feel addicted, like you want to eat more. And I'm like, Sam, we need to find that sauce, and this is the sauce. I swear this is the sauce. If it's not, it's so similar. I love it. I want you all to go out there and try it and buy it. They're not sponsoring us. Oh, so good. It's, it's one of those sauces that just makes you want to eat more and more and more. So it's not good. It's not good because of that, but oh my gosh, it tastes so good. It makes Sophie sick. But anyway, that's my lunch, you guys. That's what I'm eating. I love me some avocado and some eggs. This is why I think I don't have any pain at 51 years old. This is why I think I can move so good. Gorgeous, Sophie. I might do it a little bit shorter, but she doesn't need to show, so this girl likes her mane pulled. Oh. 
Over here we have Penny Pickle. I'm about to sweep up after her. She's all groomed and beautiful. Oh, actually I have to pick her feet. Over here we have Gracie who hopefully is still maintaining her beautiful hair. Look, she's got her head turned. She's like, don't look, Laura. You're not gonna like it, Laura. <gasps> what? Oh, what I happened? I didn't do anything. I didn't touch it, I didn't cut it, I didn't brush it. Are you sure? I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, okay, look, look. Does that look short? That's no. Been like that. This goes on the other side. No, no, no. Leave it on this side. I know, but it falls over there. Can it's you? It's always been like that. Okay. You're just complaining. I'm oh. finding it funny that you're like <laughs> over. I'm a hater. I'm a Gabby hater, assuming the worst, even when she did nothing. Mm -hmm. Gabby, can you do all the girls' bridal paths? Do you need to go get the clippers, or you just want scissors? Scissors. Okay, so guys, we're not looking, still not looking, These but work. they do work. Sophie's cutting a bridal path for the first time. Like, you have to get to that age. All right, Penny Pickle just had her her treatment. We have Lauren here from Eighth Element. What's the last part of it? P E M F. P E M F. Electromagnetic field. Electromagnetic field. There's her little system thing there, and she just treated Penny, and Penny loved it. So I was telling Lauren how. After she has her treatments, she's so calm and so relaxed. And I know we videoed this before, but what do you find other people say? Because I can't ride Penny. What do they feel? What do they find after they ride their horse excellent. after a treatment? Yeah, excellent point. So I find that a lot of people mention that their horse is perhaps more fluid. Maybe their gait is a little bit. Uh, I feel like I could see that in her as well. Fabulous. Yeah, more fluid. Um, if there's any kind of swelling, it can help reduce. Um, maybe if they have a hitch and they're not picking up a lead, it can help with that. So uh, every horse is different, but definitely. So if your horse is kind of like, um, what's the word? If your horse is kind of like not a ca quiet, calm horse, can it help with that? Like with, yes. with their disposition kind of thing? It can. So it, uh, it releases endorphins, similar to when you were getting like a massage and you kind of feel nice and relaxed. Um, so yeah, I can help with that. Okay. And with people, it actually helps them sleep better. Yeah, so I, I, de I definitely found that with Penny. She loved it. I should have videoed it. She's like licking and chewing the whole time. She loves it on every single part of her body. Do you, do most horses have that reaction? A lot. And you find the aha spots as well when you use the machine. So yeah. my gelding really loves having his hocks done and his neck done. Some have really enjoy having their hindquarters done. So it really depends on maybe how right. hard they work or where they use themselves more. Right. I just had another question and I lost it. What was it? <laughs> Oh, so you said it, he, it can heal your horse at the cellular level, right? Yeah, it definitely works at the cellular level. I typically don't use the word heal because yeah. you know I'm not yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. Um, it definitely penetrates 16 inches into the body. So it works really well with chiropractic adjustments, massage therapy, because anything that's superficial on top that you can't reach to, the PEMF is really good at getting right down below into the small muscle groups and treating at a cellular level, which is really neat. All right, treating. It treats at a cellular level. All right, that's awesome. Well, thank you, Lauren, for coming. Penny loved it. Penny loves seeing you. Say thank you, Penny. <laughs> she already looks relaxed. She's like, let me go have a nap. All right, Finn. Finny Finn, we got something new for you. I can tell he got a little wet. His hair is... Uh, his hair is curly. Finn, your hair be looking rough. So if you gotta brush this, brush this, make this boy happy. You guys, we got so much plans. Not so many plans, but we have plans. Like we have fun stuff happening. So when lockdown happens and then suddenly you get set free, we're set free. Did I mention that? Like we're allowed to go places, we're allowed to do stuff, um, well, everything's opening. Can you to the go to the bathroom? Yeah, I'll With be your bodyguard. Band, you're not here. Okay, I'll be your bodyguard. Where's right. Gabby? What was that? Is it broken? Dirt. Are you going to again? He doesn't like me. Well, that was good practice for him, though. We also have Chino here, too. Look at that big hunk of man. You're such a handsome man. Yeah, Brandon's coming. Do you forget, Brandon? It's been like two months. Three months, four months. It's been a long time, you guys. Long time since we've seen Brandon. I'm so glad to have him back. Look at this big boy. Look at those bum muscles. They are huge. He'd be looking chubby today. So we'll be starting our lesson regime again and for the next 
until next winter, the girls will be jumping twice every week in lessons and they'll be jumping at shows and then that's that's what we've always done our whole life and then when we didn't have lessons in the winter we rode three times a week and they were jumping three times a week usually little sometimes not very much jumping and sometimes no jumping at all just in case you're confused and i wanted to tell you guys this tail feels soft all right Gabby be running. You know we're late when Gabby's running. Oh, that nice, beautiful one. She'd be looking good tonight. Okay, hurry up. You, sh you should wear a black one. No. Or maybe not. Okay. I, I like this one. It's only. All right. So, Finny's using the saddle he likes. Cheeto's using the saddle he likes. And that's all that's important. All right. So, that was an awesome lesson. It was a hard lesson. Both the girls. It was hard, you guys. There's Storm. Hi, big guy. He's like, I want a, I want a treat. I deserve a treat. Yeah. Even though I didn't ride, you're riding soon. You're riding. You're having a lesson soon. So, the girls found that lesson really hard. Really difficult. It's hard getting back into it. Brandon's a strict teacher and, like, doesn't let them move forward until they get the, 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 the skill right. And... It can be like, he can be relentless about it, like the whole lesson doing one thing sometimes. And I'm not saying that's bad, I'm just saying that the, that the girls are exhausted and they did need that. <laughs> did you give them one? Oh, yeah. Is it good? Yes, it's good. <laughs> Gina's like, don't eat my treat! <laughs> they all love those cookie monsters. We should save those for the show. Or maybe I should order something the for a show. The kind of treats where he gobbles my hands and eat them. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way